Hello everyone, Spice Vader here again today. I uh, just wanted to make a quick follow-up video as I had some people ask about making a follow-up on the Rufus Windows 10 on Steam Deck and I figured let's try Windows 11 this time and then I'll actually boot into the Steam Deck with this drive and then also show a couple driver install steps. Boot up Rufus here, get Windows 11 image to just a 64 gig drive I have here. Obviously that's not ideal as you want, you probably want like a 500 gig or bigger drive in order to ensure that you have enough room to you know, install some games on it, but I figured this would probably work fine for demonstration purposes. I'm just going to go through the process of downloading the Windows 11 image. Uh, should be the same options as the Windows 10 version. Just want to make sure we're picking MBR for our partition scheme. And that will also allow us to choose Windows to go. And then we want to make sure we check the use Rufus MBR with BIOS ID and you can just leave this default. And that should be all you need. One thing I did notice with the Windows 10 version is that when you, whatever this volume label is, it's kind of going to be set and you can't really change that even in Windows. I'm not sure why. So if you want to make this say something specific, I would pick this now change it to whatever you want it to say in File Explorer so when you boot into that it'll already have that name. And then we'll just hit start and we'll wait for that process to finish. Okay, so the imaging process is finished. One thing you could do is open up your drive, and if you know what system you're gonna be putting this into, you can make a folder called drivers. So I'm gonna grab the Steam Deck drivers from the Steam Deck uh, Windows drivers page and drop them in here. Now that the drivers are done downloading, here they are in the folders, and now we can eject the drive and pop this into the Steam Deck. So here I am popping the SD card into the Steam Deck and just showing the quick boot up sequence here. You'll be holding the volume down button and the power button to get into this menu and then you can select by going down to your SD card and then pressing either the A button or the right on the D-pad. Looks like it's picked up the Windows 11 install because the screen turned to portrait mode, so it's going to be sideways during the setup process. And I'll just cut through all these real quick here, plug in my uh, external dock that's got keyboard and mouse so I can navigate these menus a lot easier. And we're into Windows. And we're just gonna quick change the display settings and switch it to landscape because portrait is annoying and on the Steam Deck. <laughs> and here's the drive, shows up as Windows 11 to go because we named it that when we set it up. So I'm just gonna show extracting all the drivers here. I usually just take the folder, copy it to an extracted folder, whatever you wanna do, but just get them out of the zip files and put them into a folder. And to start with, we'll do the AMD software, the APU driver. So just next through this and don't need to change any other settings. After it finishes up, you don't need to reboot, but it's not a bad idea if you do. 
and then you can just move on to the SD card driver, whichever one you want to do next. After the SD card driver, you definitely want to restart. And then for the audio driver, you can just click the install and make sure it's on the setup INF. And then you'll see when it changes the audio driver from X to the little volume icon, and that's how you know it worked. After that second audio driver install, ensure that you restart the Steam Deck because um, it might give you errors if you don't before installing any other driver like the wireless or the Wi-Fi driver here. I like to use the install batch script that they included because that has all of the right settings that are needed for installing the software properly and the drivers. You'll also see now that your Wi-Fi will work and Wi-Fi networks are showing up, so that's a good sign. Same process here for the Bluetooth driver, just run the install driver batch script as administrator. then you should see that your Bluetooth icon shows up. And that should be the last driver that we have access to right now, uh, or that Valve has provided for Windows. You'll see that there's a lot of other devices that don't have a driver, and that's just kind of the way it is. So um, this is about as set up as it can be right now. It isn't very stable, it doesn't work super well. I just wanted to show how to get the actual controller working, the uh, thumbsticks and all that. Uh, we use something called Glossy or Glow SC, and it's just global steam controller. And there is something called Glow SI, um, but I haven't gotten that to work properly, so I've been using Glow SC with these instructions and I have the install steps too that I used. We just basically are going to point it at Notepad and that will allow it to uh, use the built-in Steam controls for Windows. Make sure you run this VIG EM bus driver install. Uh, that is important and it is what actually communicates with these thumbsticks and stuff. So make sure that installs. Next, next, next through all these, for some reason they force you to look at all those. You can read them if you want to, but um, I have my install steps in the notepad here, and I'll provide a link to that in uh, the description to like a Google Drive or something because it, uh, it's kind of hard to find on the internet, so you can search for it and stuff, but it's become more difficult to find because they're trying to improve it, but I haven't found a better version than the one I have, so I just stick with what I've got. And after that, you should see it in your uh, Steam list because it'll restart Steam to add it and then you'll see it in here and then you can rename it. I just did Steam Deck Controller Enable and then you can just hit play and it'll start up Notepad essentially. And you can either minimize or just close on a Notepad. It doesn't really matter because now the driver is hooked and um, you should have controls so you can see here like the start menu now works with the thumb sticks I didn't install any games to test this with but uh, you could take my word for it. It'll work So like the Xbox app um, You know you can hit the a button to launch things. It, it works just like it's native Personally, I use Windows 10 because that's what I set up in the other video and I've been kind of tweaking it and configuring it and putting stuff that I like on it so 
the one thing I like is the Xbox console companion, which I don't believe is in Windows 11. And this is kind of neat because it still lets you stream from your Xbox One and play Xbox 360 games streamed. Um, so that's really kind of cool. But I'm just going to show a little demo here of using the Xbox One X that I have from that other video and streaming that playing Halo 5. So enjoy a little bit of that here as I wrap up the video. And that about does it. Uh, so if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Uh, sorry again about the poor video quality. I used an Insta360 camera this time, and I regret that I used that because I didn't realize the quality would be so low, uh, even at 4K60. If you like this content, uh, definitely hit like, subscribe, uh, hit that notification bell so you know when I upload a video. I'm going to try to get these out a little more frequently. I was off for a little bit on some family stuff, so I'm back again, and I'm going to be uploading some more. I've got a whole list of things I want to cover. Thanks again for watching, and God bless. Take care. The defenses will consider you the dangerous as well. It's your installation. Can't you tell them to let us through? No.